Um, the web and the networks and the technologies that we have available to us, I think, are, are beginning to, to force us, I think, to think about how we do schools, how we do teaching and learning. And it's a really challenging moment. I like to say that if you're not feeling a little bit uncomfortable about being a teacher or being in education right now, you're not really paying attention. Because there are huge challenges that the internet is bringing to us and huge opportunities as well. That is, in many ways, if we are going to continue to focus on content, we are going to be usurped by all sorts of different content providers. Our value as schools is not content. It's what Doug was talking about. It's learning. But we are talking about lots of kids right now who are very, very connected and who are beginning to learn in these ways that I think are very profound that we have to begin to figure out. We as educators have to begin to make sense of this for them. I don't buy the idea that they're digital natives. They're not. They may be willing to break it more easily. They may be willing to push the technology, but they absolutely are not born with this inherent ability to simply connect with other people and learn and do all this great stuff. We don't need to teach them Facebook. I get that. That social stuff is pretty easy. But we're not just talking about social networking here. We're talking about learning networking. And that learning piece is where they absolutely need us. They absolutely need us to help them make sense of those types of interactions, which, which again, are very, very different from face-to-face -face interactions.